With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. 3 gram acetic acid is mixed into 50 ml of 0.1 mhcl. This mixture is now diluted to 500 ml. 20 ml of this solution is now taken. Now taken in another container. 1 by 2 ml of 5 mnh NaOH is added to this. Find the pH of this solution. Now basically what the question is asking. Here we can write in simple terms. Okay. So basically in this question it is asking the pH. So basically 3 gram C double OH. CS3 C double OH. CS3 C double OH that is the acetic acid we have in which we have added 250 ml 0.1 m HCl okay now this mixture is diluted to 500 ml 500 ml 20 ml of this solution 20 ml of this solution is now taken to, uh, to another container uh, and in that container half ml half ml 5 m molarity that is molarity NaOH is added now it is asking find the final uh, find the pH of the final solution okay the final uh, solution that we obtain we have to find its pH now this question is uh, is interesting now how to solve this question first of all uh, we write the data we are we uh, write the data here basically we are adding step by step we are doing this question we have CS3CWH in this we are adding HCl okay CS3CWH the uh, moles we have to find the moles now in this 3 gram is given and we all know 60 gram is the molecular mass of uh, 60 gram is the molecular mass of uh, CSTCWH now here all the values of volume is given in milliliter so we solve this question in milliliter okay so for moles we uh, convert the moles into millimoles because all the things are given in milliliter so we use millimoles and if all the things are uh, given in liters then we use moles so for milli millimoles 3 by 60 multiply by 1000 and the value is 50 50 millimoles we have similarly for HCl we have 250 ml of 0.1 molarity that is the molarity now the formula of molarity is we all know the formula of molarity is number of moles volume of solution in liters okay so here we are taking moles in millimoles and volume in milliliter okay so to calculate the number of moles that is millimoles what we have to do we have to millimoles is equals to molarity into volume in milliliter that is the molarity 0.1 into 250 the value will be 25 millimoles 25 millimoles and here 50 moles millimoles of cs3 cwh now in this question we have taken uh, now in this uh, in now is in this uh, uh, we have added uh, this mixture is diluted to 500 ml okay then we have taken 20 ml of this solution okay now initially we have calculated that 50 millimoles of CS3CWH is present and 25 millimoles of 25 millimoles of HCl is present okay now we have to calculate that for CS3CWH CS3 CWH CH3 CWOH okay 
और सी एस थ्री सी डब्ल्यू एच फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल एंड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल वे ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एल फिफ्टी मिली मोल्स फिफ्टी मिली मोल्स एंड फॉर ट्वेंटी एम एल वी हैव बिकॉज ट्वेंटी एम एल ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन वी हैव टेकन सो इन ट्वेंटी एम एल हाउ मनी मिली मोल्स आर देर इन टू ट्वेंटी then the answer will be 2 okay so 2 millimoles is there okay for hcl we have 500 ml is in 500 ml we have 25 millimoles and for 20 ml we have 25 upon 500 Into twenty, that is one, one millimoles. Now we have taken twenty ml of this solutions. Okay, now we have added half ml of five m NOH in this solution. Okay. Now basically what we are doing, we are adding, we have CS three CWH. HCl and in it we are adding NaOH. NaOH is a strong base. It is act as a strong base. This is a strong acid. A strong acid. Okay. Now, now it uh, now for this now in this question, the buffer formation will take place. Now, what is the buffer? Buffer resist in pH. It resist to change in pH. It does not allow to change in pH. In it, weak acid plus salt with a strong base is formed. With a strong base is there in buffer. Now, what we are doing? NaOH plus HCl. Now NaOH molarity is given and volume is given. So number of moles will be. Molarity is five into one by two into two point five. The value will be uh, two point five. No, it is not two point five. So it will be five into one by two. That will be the two point five moles. Okay. So here, here the value will be uh, here one by two ml of five molar NaOH. So value will be two point five. Okay, so if we multiply two point five, and here we have one. Okay, the one value will uh, where we get the one from here. We have calculated the HCl value is one. Now in this HCl is the limiting reagent. So this reaction is of strong acid plus strong base reaction. Now similarly, this will act as a limiting reagent. Okay, so after the reaction, it will be Zero, no amount will be left, and this will be uh, one by one point five. Now this NOH is react with CS three CWH plus CS three CWH plus NaOH because NaOH is present. That is one point five, and CS three CWH is two, and here it is one point five. Now in this reaction, CS three CWH CS three C double O N A is formed along with S two O, and here we have seen that after the reaction. Now this is the limiting reagent here, so it will become zero, and this value will be zero point five. Zero point five will be left. CS three C double O H is will be left. Now this uh, it will be one point five. This will be formed. Now to find the pH of this. We have to use Henderson equation. Henderson equation by the Henderson Henderson equation we calculate the pH, and by the Henderson equation the pH value is will be equal to pKa plus log salt upon acid. Okay. So after calculating the values, pKa, 
okay now pk value is given to us 4.74 pk value is given in the question that is 4.74 okay 4.74 is the pk value now log concentration of salt upon concentration of acid so we've taken the values concentration of salt that is 1.5 and concentration of acid is 0 0.5 0 0.5 if we solve this we get the value of pH as 5.22 this is our answer this is our answer now let us take in the question option A is our answer for class 6 to 12 ITJ and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today